One of the strangest things in the world is that we've accepted Satan's lie that Passover is not a Christian thing. So instead we get the Easter Bunny. Some people think that Passover is just for Jews. But Jesus and the apostles all celebrated Passover. In the New Testament, the original Lord's Supper was a Passover celebration. And in the early church, Passover was the most important holiday in the year, far surpassed our observation of Christmas. You see, Passover is for Christians. The early church considered the feasts very important. Paul planned the itinerary of his missionary journeys around the feasts. He stayed at Philippi to celebrate Passover with the church there, but then had to skip the church at Ephesus to be able to celebrate Pentecost in Jerusalem. So Passover is celebrated at a meal. It's the meal we read about in the Gospels when the disciples gathered with Jesus in the upper room on the night before his crucifixion. And he said, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover meal with you. So Passover is a celebration of the blood and of the lamb slain for redemption. It celebrates God's power for delivering Israel from Egypt. But even more, it celebrates our deliverance from sin and Satan through the blood of Jesus our Passover lamb. So Jesus came to earth to be a Passover lamb. When John introduced Jesus, he said, Behold the lamb. Paul said, Christ our Passover lamb has been slain. And in Revelation 4 and 5, all heaven worships Jesus as the lamb that was slain. So Passover is all about Jesus. When his blood is on the doorpost of your life, God delivers you from the destroyer. God gave us Passover as a way to celebrate and experience all that Jesus did for us. God brought deliverance by the blood of the Lamb. Remember that every father in Israel, when they were in the captivity of Egypt, made the sign of the cross on the blood, uh, in the blood of the Lamb, as they put it on the doorposts and lentil. And so we see from this that God's deliverance always comes by his cross and by his blood. That's what Passover celebrates. So again I say Passover is all about Jesus. He came as the Lamb of God. His blood redeems us. Judgment is turned away. The power of the enemy is broken. We are released from bondage and oppression and we are set free to enter into God's promise. Everything in Passover is a picture of Jesus. So celebrating this feast at the beginning of every Jewish Passover celebration, the father of the house performs a little ceremony called hiding the afikomen. He has a cloth bag called an afikoman bag. It's also called a unity. In this unity bag are three pockets. And before the feast, he puts three sheets of unleavened bread in the unity bag, one in each pocket. At the beginning of the meal, the father takes the middle piece of the matzah out of the bag. The middle piece of the three in the unity. Okay, it's called the Afikoman, it's a Greek word, and it means he who is coming, and it's the middle one, significant. And if you look at matzah, you will see that it has little holes pierced in it. You'll notice that it has stripes because of the cooking process and the appearance of bruising. And the father takes this bruised, striped, and pierced Afikoman, the middle one of the three in the unity, and it's described in Isaiah 53. And he breaks this. And he carefully wraps it in a white linen napkin. And he hides it until later in the Passover meal. So every time the Jewish people celebrate Passover, it's all about the Messiah. It's all about Jesus. 
Children are told to search for the apicoman, and when it's found, it's unwrapped, and it's held up for all to see. And when the apicoman was broken, it symbolized Jesus' death. When it was wrapped in linen, it pictures the wrapping of his body in linen after his death. When the wrapped apicoman was hidden from sight, it symbolized his burial. And finally, it is unwrapped and held up for all to see. And this symbolizes the resurrection of Jesus, Yeshua ben Yahweh. That's the whole gospel story in the middle of the Jewish Passover celebration. So the Afikoman is then eaten. This is the place at the Last Supper when Jesus lifted up the bread and said, This is my body given for you. There were four cups of wine during the Passover that follow through this storyline. The cup of sanctification, the cup of judgment, the cup of, cup of redemption, and the cup of praise. It's the third cup, the cup of redemption. This is when he held up in the Last Supper the cup and he said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. So, this was the original context of the Lord's Supper. So Jesus desires your company. Invite him into your daily life this year because you are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb and set free to enter the promises of God.